Hello again, everyone. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Hadi, all the team of Agora Group for making this possible. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, uh, Ahmed. Thank you, Said. Thank you to everyone. So I'm going to talk about regulation. Please, it's better. I don't like to be here. <laughs> Stay. I'm going to talk about regulation because I think this is the next step. I'm, I was trying a lot, of, a lot of DeFi projects. I make a few money in this project and I had a big problem when I tried to buy a home. I, I couldn't in that moment. It was impossible to bring that money from DeFi to my bank account in order to buy my home because I do need money in the bank account to buy a home. Maybe you can find one home in which they accept Bitcoin, but wherever you will need to pass all the KYC, all the EML, all the, all the track of the money, the beginning, the, the while and the finish, everything. So it was really, really difficult for me to do that. Six months, a lot of lawyers, and it was awful. Finally, I, I did it, but it's not open for normal people, correct? So I'm going to talk today about Wongli. First of all, I'm going to present myself. I'm Daniel Santos. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Saurus.com. It's a challenger bank that operates in Europe, and is Sharia complaint. I am I'm, I'm one of the biggest economic and crypto influencers worldwide in the Spanish language. I have a community of more than 300,000 people in, in YouTube through my channels. And that's it. That is me. So this is Wonkly Labs. Uh, we are creating regulated blockchain solutions. We have license in Estonia, in the European Union. It was difficult to keep it because they keep almost the 99% of the licenses. So it was, uh, it was an awful process to keep our licenses. Okay, the world is changing right now, you know, for that you are here in this moment. The old economy is changing into the new economy. We saw a lot of new protocols in DeFi. We saw AMMs, automated market makers, that is the future of the exchange. We saw lending, decentralized protocols, insurance protocols, derivatives protocols, NFT protocols. So this is moving so, so, so fast. This is the rise of, of DeFi. As you can see, on 21 of June 2017, the DeFi market, TBL, total value lock, was... $658 million. As you can see, on 21 of June 2020, the total value lock was uh, more than $5 billion. One year ago, exactly one year ago. In less than 10 months, we go 13 times to uh, almost 150 billion dollars less than a year and now we are here all the scams happened there <laughs> now we are here in the 73 000, uh, 73 million dollars so it's a huge increase in this market for a year this is a new bomb this is exploding so as is exploding the regulators will come, the banks will come, the governments will come. I want a world with unicorns, or <laughs> say like Uniswap, but I want a world with unicorns and rainbows. It's so nice, but it's not going to happen. That is the reality. It's so difficult. We have rules. Uh, we, you all have money, you all are VCs, you know how difficult it is. It is. So it's not going to happen right now 
in my opinion, a world in which government are not there. You can do wherever you want. Everything is decentralized. It's incredible, but it's not gonna happen in my opinion, all right? What's gonna happen is that regulators and governments will come and all that project that doesn't have at least a, a small regulate a, a small regulation will not go through the next step, in my opinion. So these are market leaders. We have a lot of these are few of them. Uniswap, incredible, Pancake, AB, Compound, Sushi Swap, Maker. That have in common that was incredible innovation. First time I saw, for example, Maker blow my mind. I couldn't understand that it's Im impressive. And Uniswap, do you remember three years ago? It was awesome. It's like, what is happening here, AB? Incredible, compound, incredible. So are incredible innovators. They could do that because the lack of regulation in that moment. So was the right move. The right move was do it without regulated, without being regulated. But this is what is happening now. We have a lot of scams, 50%. Of DeFi are scam. Do you remember this? Do you know what is this? Titan. Did you see it in the in the news in the last days? Lost all the money. Unicats, Gelato, and wherever and wherever and wherever. Between January and April 2021, DeFi scammers raked in in almost 83 million. Looking at the broader picture, almost 55 of all major cryptocurrency scams were DeFi hacks. That means out of a total thief amount of 432 million, 240 million can solely be attributed to DeFi. Space saw a massive outflow of funds with as much as 377 million flowing out of the market in May 2021. So what these ones and this one has in common right now. They are not regulated, not the best, not the worst, the worst, not the innovators, not the scammers. They are not regulated. They don't have KYC. They don't follow anti-money laundry policies. So we do, because we think this is the next step. In one click, we provide solutions with our products to this problem. So we create regulated products like DeFi Finance, NFT Debt Finance, our accelerator fund for regulated DeFi products, our token, and our blockchain. We will talk about that later. One click closed the gap between DeFi and traditional finance. DeFi Finance is the first AMN to meet a strict AML and KYC requirements and regulations, paving the way for private investors, companies, family offices, and institutions to invest in DeFi, in DeFi safely. One click, you can have all your transactions and send it to the bank, send it to the, um, to the SAT, to the how is the, the name of the ad to the C, SEC, wherever, correct? With one click. So family offices, institution can come here and invest, this is important, with euros, with fiat money into DeFi and you can go out with fiat money so you can convert the money you already did in DeFi. Wonkly NFT Marketplace is another product that we developed and will feature an innovation never seen before in the NFT market, the KYC identity verification process, which will allow to unit the intellectual property with the NFTs. And we will talk about that later. So these are our two products uh, we get uh, for our DeFi, the domain DeFi.finance. As you know, all AMMs are in that finance domains. And for NFT, we have NFT.finance. So we have the generics for that. This is DeFi that finance, as you can see it right now, it's the version 1.2. We, we will launch the version 2 really, really soon. This is the total value log yesterday in that moment. And you can swap 
you can swap without a KYC because that is a connection between two tokens. You don't need a KYC, but at the moment you want to invest, farm, stake, you need to pass a KYC. So you pass a KYC, you follow the anti-money laundry rules, and there you go. Once you pass this, you can do whatever you want in the decentralized in the decentralized protocol. So what this allow us to do? For example, you can enter in our protocol, you will enter in our protocol with euros, with dollars, with, uh, with the fiat currency you, you, you want. We can create fiat crypto pools, and I think this is the next real step. Imagine euro Bitcoin pool. Euro, Ethereum pool, Euro, BNB pool. This is the future. So you can create an incredible big liquidity protocol in order to um, another chain permits another chain and other institutions to connect to that protocol directly with Euro and crypto, decentralized. And you can do Forex in AMM. You can do fiat and fiat because you are regulated, euro, dollar, dollar, yen, dollar, yuan, wherever. So our next goal is to bring DeFi to private investors, companies, family offices, and institutions, making invest in DeFi easy, secure, regulated, trustable, and potentially more profitable than any investment fund. This is the objective because the, the yield that you can get in a DeFi, in a regulated DeFi, is much more than, than any investment fund in the world. It's incredible the, the money that you can do, the profit that you can do, and you will do it in a secure, regulated, and trustable way. So, we will also launch our new NFT marketplace. It's going to operate in a few networks. Uh, Polkadot, uh, we are uh, developing in Solana and, and BSC and another networks. And we have an accelerator and fund. Right now, we are opening in Spain, Estonia, Mexico. And we will talk with the DMCC in order to open it here in Dubai. And right now, this year, we place into the pool uh, almost $1 million to invest in a startup in 2021. This is our stats right now. We are starting CoinGecko, top 300, more than 80 million total value log, a 3 million average daily trading volume, more than 14,000 token holders between our two tokens, more than 28,000 uh, members in our Telegram communities, 21,000 Twitter communities, six in Instagram, in YouTube. This is the Wonkly one. In mine, we have more than 300,000. And we are right now more than 35, almost 35 uh, people working in Wonkly. I expect we go to 60 people working at the end of this year. So thank you, everyone, to be here. And I, I think this is the next step for the DeFi projects. Thank you very much.